<laughs> What's up, you guys? If you are new to my channel, my name is Shaira. And if you're old to my channel, it's been a very long time. Thank you for holding me out. P.O.P. You real and you loyal. And I'm gonna make this up to you. I'm gonna I'll make this up to you. No worries, no worries. But if you're new, like I said, my Shire Alexius, you can subscribe below. We're creating a whole bunch of content. I'm super excited to share with you all. So what a great time to join. So how sis? How do you get that perfect ash bond? <laughs> so today I'm gonna show y'all how to do that. So I have my 22 inch wig here. So this is just like a little $250 wig for AliExpress. I'm trying to find a link so I can link it below. But here's the tea on this Russian blonde hair. I've spent hundreds and hundreds, like I mean close to a thousand on bundles and wigs for them to literally do the same things that AliExpress hair does. So I do recommend, unless you have like a really, really bomb ass blonde vendor, if you're gonna do blonde hair, I say um, stick to the cheapest route and just change your hair every month, damn near like every month, every month and a half, two months, I mean like, cause blonde hair just doesn't last a long time. So personally, I've learned I prefer to be cheaper with the hair and buy more of it than to spend a thousand dollars on hair and then in a month and a half or two months I'm looking stupid. Like, did I just spend a thousand dollars on that and it didn't even last? Yes. So that is why I have this wig here. You know it is not sponsored. Yes, some of y'all could sponsor the kid. <laughs> but yeah, um, so I'm just jumping right into the video. I will add a picture in of all the supplies you need. And my trick is usually getting two different colored toners. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is set your station up, girl. The last time I recorded a little video like this, I was staying in my mom's house. So this time, I gotta be real careful. <laughs> Just kidding. No, seriously, if you're watching this, I'm literally joking. <laughs> what I like to do for setting up is create a whole counter full of aluminum oil. And it's honestly still may not be long enough since I'm going um, horizontally instead of vertical. For y'all, that might be opposite, but you feel me. Um. <laughs> so I like to surround my area with a little bit of oil. Always make sure you have gloves. Always, always, always. So now, I'll take it down. Um, is it have a little shedding? I'm not like, oh, blonde hair is so bad, bro. It sheds so fucking bad. Like, if you don't know this, I have never purchased any blonde hair from any vendor, any company that did not shed like fuck. T17 is super popular too. Most of the time, I just alternate between two colors, but I always get to well as make it different. I'm um, like some highlights. I haven't decided <laughs> how I'm gonna do this one yet, but we'll see as we get there. One serving of developer is in all right and now I'll do one more all right see here is the second 
serving of the developer. Looking for a thicker concoction. Um, yeah, it basically feels like this every time because, like I said, I measure it with the toner bottle. So, to the next one, this one's a T35. I'll get the developer in, and you're gonna measure. Dump it one time. Try and get most of it out. Fill that hole again. All righty. We have our second serving in. I did not read any instructions. The first time doing it at home, baby, go ahead and read the instructions. If you want to be neater, you can. To me, I'm not smooth. It's really simple with blonde hair and toning because all you do is coat the hair. Coat the hair and then comb through the hair. So I'm just going to dip and dab between both of these in the back. I'll start from the roots and then I'll comb the toner in with my fingers. Okay, so I was just saying that you'll be able to tell when the hair is saturated first when it's not. It actually starts to make a little bit of a color difference after maybe like 60 seconds of playing with the hair. So I'll coat the hair and then I'll finger comb through it. I'm not gonna focus like OD on the ends because I'll probably trim with maybe like an inch anyway you know you kind of got to get away a little longer than what you wanted because the ends are probably going to be straggling it is saturated when it's saturated i have finger comb through the hair now i am going to go back with the real comb Try not to rip the mirror on the foil because that has caused some stains in my carpet. Oh, red hair. Sorry again, mom. This baby is coming through. All right. So we'll flip over to the front side of the wig. You're gonna recomb through it. Now for the front, I am gonna use my hands because I'm just a little bit more picky with the front of my hair. Everyone should be picky with the front of their hair, actually. So I just like to use my fingers to really make sure I'm getting every single part that I could possibly want to make out of this. And also this way, you're keeping control of how much um, product you have left. You never want the front of your hair to be lacking. I guess you don't want any of your hair to be lacking nice. Just make sure you have enough dye.
you don't know what I mean by that, I mean just going back in between, making a part where you think yours will lay, and just making sure it's fully, fully, fully saturated. Here is our wig. Be resourceful, use the aluminum foil I already have to wrap my hair up to allow it time to process. Say I spent maybe 15, 20 minutes. Okay, queen, so it's been about 15 minutes. Here's what our wig is looking like. How perfect is she? So, now I am just going to rinse the part out. Um, I don't have blood on anymore. You should wear gloves though. I'm a hypocrite. This is without purple shampoo. Girl. To me, the purple shampoo is like a cherry on top. Do y'all see the highlights, yo? So cute. So, so, so cute. Look. Natural highlights flopping. <laughs> this is this is why they think I'm a natural blonde. <laughs> they be they be really thinking I'm a blonde girl. They'll think you're a blonde girl too. <laughs> I'm just playing. Let me stop playing with y'all. But listen, this purple shampoo it's like super 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 potent. Super 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 potent. I'm pretty sure on a bottle it says don't leave in for more than like three to six minutes. Don't be like me. Please learn from my mistakes. Although I did like it, my hair has turned purple from leaving it in for too long. So <laughs> you might not want purple hair. If you don't want purple hair, then I do suggest. I'm honestly like I really saturate the hair with the purple shampoo and almost rinse it right out. Okay, so y'all might think it's ratchet, but I like to sit my wig outside and let that whole air dry. So that when you style it after, it's just late. 